WebCat 3.0 is out now and brings some cool new features just like redesigned UI. As you can see here on the homepage, the default homepage, you can see your bookmarks as well just like before so it looks like very similar like before but you can see that the tab page has been or the tab bar has been revamped so it has another color scheme now and uh, it will just simply use the highlight color to highlight the current active tab of course you have the option to create a new tab and a new window and of course pressing and holding the new tab button allows you to create a new window or even a new private window you can see the URL bar at the bottom, the normal toolbar, uh, which allows you to uh, enter the URL, uh, go a page back or even access the um, extra toolbar and of course the tab button with the bookmarks. And this is now not loading a new, in a new page, but simply um, swiping in and out and allows you to easily navigate through uh, different web pages even if you have different links opened up any new tab you can see it's quite f a bit faster than in the older versions uh, to switch a tab and if you have two tabs open and you can see me switching between two tabs very frequently you can now hit the tab button two times and it will automatically switch to the last tab that was opened which is a pretty nice and quick and easy way to switch between tabs. Then you can see that the uh, extra toolbar has been changed, revamped. As you can see here, we have some new icons in there. Of course, you have still the option to minimize the toolbar if you want to read something underneath the toolbar. You have the option to now go into night mode, which is a nice uh, little addition, uh, which allows you to now read texts at night. And it will stay in this night mode even for linked uh, for clicked links and of course you can go to day mode as well again then we have the rotation um, lock which has a new icon reader mode again search for stuff share button the share button now has the option to share this website with the safish browser and the last but not least you have a now, now a new menu button if you open this up you have several different options quick options that you can access um, file manager which i will show you later backup manager which allows you to backup your current profile and if you switch to a new safish s phone for example and want to import your um, browser profile you can do this with the backup manager video player which allows you to play video streams if you go into this can see and has the option to open a file or open streams and of course we have the download manager if you want to download stuff you can either click on the download link or you can add a download manually in here the new edition is a revamped file manager in webcat which is now a fully supported file manager with all options that you might have known or might known for a uh, solid file manager. First of all, you have the option to go and see your properties of a directory of a file or something like this. And as you can see here, this is a pretty large directory. So it's calculating the size now for this uh, Nemo directory and as you can see here 7.82 gigabytes in size a pretty nice little tool a nifty little tool if you want to know how big is a folder containing all your video files or image files or something like this and you can see also the permissions and the owner as well as last modified if it is uh, last if, if the data is available in this case it isn't available for this directory and you have several options then as well just like renaming the folder which shouldn't be possible I think for the Nemo user and changing the permissions but it's very useful for files so let me go into a documents directory and for example this DOSX EPUB I can press and hold go to properties and I can see all the properties of this uh, of this EPUB file this file size also last modified is now visible in here and I can simply rename the file if I'd like to 
Or what I can do is also change the permission of this file in a pretty easy way. As you can see here, you have the owner and the group and the others and you can toggle between read, write and execute uh, bits in here, which is pretty nice and easy. So if I want to want others uh, to be able to write to this file, I just simply click on it. And of course, you have some other options for quick navigation in a file browser, which is also pretty um, important, I think. You can swipe to the right and get to your new places page, which allows you to go to your devices, just like the device memory, but also SD cards. So if you have an SD card inserted in here, you can click on it. It will directly go into the SD card that you have inserted. And you have some common places here, just like home documents, downloads, music, pictures and videos, which refer to the home directory of your user. And you have some custom ones. I added some custom ones, just like the Android storage, for example, because of Android support on my device here and my music folder of the SD card. And as you can see here, I can remove those as well if I don't like it. Let's remove the Android storage, for example. And now it's gone. What you can do now is go to home. And if I want to add it back again, I can go to Android storage. And if I want to add this to my places, I just choose add to places and it will be added to my places. As you can see here as Android storage. If I want to rename it, I can press and hold, um, click on rename, and then I can rename it just like for, for example, I like it capitalized and without the underscore and I have renamed it to Android storage and it's usable as you can see here. So this is the file manager, very powerful file manager. Of course, the other features that we that I had or that, that I added in um, WebCAD's file manager, just like copying and um, pasting files or cutting files is still available here. So if I have a log file here, for example, I can just simply say copy then go to my home directory and say paste and as you can see here file operation successfully you can see the log file here on the bottom and you can of course by pressing on the file you can of course open the file in this case nothing is registered to open log files so it won't open the log file if you have video files for example you can just simply click on the video files and the internal player of webcat will open it up or if you have set to use an external player like LLS video player it will open up in LLS video player instead so let me open up this for example and we'll start playing back video Uh, the same goes now also for audio files. So let me go to my music uh, directory and to some 90s music, uh, just like for example this one here. As you can see, it will show just an icon for music files, uh, but it will allow you to play back those music files, which is uh, pretty nice as well. Then what's also pretty nice, I was asked to, by many people, that did not like the bookmarks, the default bookmarks being installed. They wanted the bookmarks to be empty all the time. So this is now possible. So by default, it will on first start at the default bookmarks. But if you remove the default bookmarks, you will have the option to have them disabled completely. So they will be empty. Then the next thing is uh, in the browser is the video player component. Let's go to YouTube. And let's open up some random video in here. For example, this one here. What you can now do is if you click on play here, you can see the window for playing back the video file is much smaller. What you can do now is just simply scroll and read the comments for this video, for example, if I'd like to. Or I can even go back and just click on another video, read the comments there, or open it up in a new tab or something like this. And if you want to see the top of your web view, you can just simply swipe down in the video and it will go to the bottom as you can see here. And you can see there now the top and can click on and navigate to the top. 
and of course you can swipe up again to make it uh, bigger. As you can see here, the new controls, they moved a little bit, so full screen is now on the, t uh, on the bottom uh, right and closing on the top right. Uh, you can also use the handy new feature, double tap on the video file to just make it full screen. And of course, if you go to landscape, it will be uh, better to view the video in landscape mode. And double tap and you will go out of the full screen mode again. As you can see here, so pretty nice new feature for interactive uh, interactivity when watching videos, which is a pretty nice uh, addition, I guess. There are many, many other fixes in this release of WebCat 3.0. Uh, many, many fixes um, regarding web browsing and also um, regarding several features of the web browser, just like for example, let me show you this here. If you have, if I have um, my toolbar expanded and scroll to the bottom, it will automatically uh, minimize the toolbar so that anything that is written in here, just like copyright notice, imprint, link or something like this will be visible and clickable for the user, uh, which is I think pretty nice. Also, it will hide any media download uh, rectangle toolbar when uh, it is uh, activated or when it's active basically. Uh, then let me go through the list um, of changes. There's so many changes. You can, of course, take a look at all the fixes and changes that I did on WebCat in the changelog as well. Um, is there something... Oh, there's something interesting uh, that was broken for quite some time. As you can see, here, if I am in portrait mode, I have this quick options to swipe uh, to go to the top or bottom of the page but those weren't available in landscape mode and uh, there's a workaround now as you can see here they are available now in landscape mode as well which is uh, I think pretty handy for people using their phone in landscape mode or tablet users who have uh, their tablet mostly in landscape mode so this is I think a nice fix as well uh, many other fixes um, for scrolling to make it a little bit more smooth on the various different devices and uh, as well as the extra toolbar now expanding for as you can see here it's using a proper layout mechanism to uh, align the icons in here so you have seven icons in here and uh, they all stay at the same position basically no matter wh which screen you have uh, they stay aligned. So these are some of the new fe features of WebCAD 3.0. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, if you have suggestions, if you have bugs that you want to report, just go to the um, uh, to the either the Open Repos website or report them on the, on the Yola Store if the app is available in, on the Yola Store or when the app is available on the Yola Store. I think it will take some days for it to be available. Uh, I hope you enjoyed um, this little demonstration of WebCAD 3.0 and uh, of course you can donate, you can support my work on WebCAD. Um, there's a new option for donating, not only PayPal, but you also have the option to now uh, use Libera Pay for supporting me um, or helping me to develop, to further develop WebCAD and adding new features. I hope you enjoyed this little video demonstration and thanks for watching.